Bell Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a fast, fun SketchUp project, so let's get cracking. Friends, the first step is to get to SketchUp. There will be a link in the description. Once you're there, we need to choose our measurements we're going to build with. Today, we are going to build with millimeters. Once you click that button, wait a moment, and this gentleman will appear. We're going to hit delete. We're going to start with the shortcuts, of course, R for rectangle. We are going to make a box with a lid. I'm going to tell you the measurements we want are 90, 50, and press enter. It'll be tiny. I want you to do shift Z to zoom into it, O to orbit, and look at it from the top. Let's click on the word untitled. Click on the little SketchUp folder so it'll save to our Trimble folder. And we're going to call this box. And it's going to be a box with a lid, but we'll just call it box. Friends, make sure you click the tab in between so the shortcuts go with these. We're going to do P for push, pull, lift it up, let go, type 4, and press enter. What that did was it made a 4 millimeter layer at the bottom of our box. Now I want you to tap control and push pull again. Check it out, friends. It made another layer. We're going to raise this one up. Once again, we let go. And I'm going to tell you we want to make this 45 high and press enter. If we do shift Z, You'll notice it zooms out to the extents, and we have got a decent box, but it's not cut out. We're going to do that, friends, with the F for offset. We need to click in the center of this box, and I want you to type 4 and press Enter. We're going to do P for push-pull, and I want you to pull the center down to this end point. So notice I take the arrow all the way out, and I can touch various points. This is called inferring, and what I just did was I told SketchUp I want it to go right to the bottom of this. If we do O for orbit and look inside, you can see that now it is totally cut out. Notice the different color blue. That's because this is the outside face, and that is the inside face of our box. Friends, we're going to use part of this box for the lid. I want you to do your O for orbit. Make sure you click your tabs in between. I want you to look down below. Give yourself a little bit of space because we're going to space bar, click, M for move. I'm going to grab this corner and I'm going to tap control. Note I am making a copy and I'm going to put it on the red axis. I wanted this face, but I wanted a copy of it. O for orbit, look from the top, P for push pull, and we want to raise it up four millimeters and press enter. Space bar, triple click, one, two, three. Make sure it is blue in every direction. Right click it and make it a group. Now that we've got our box lid created, let's hit E for eraser and get rid of this outside line. We don't need it. Remember you can push in your scroll wheel O do or do O for orbit and get those cleaned up. Space bar, triple click this item, one, two, three, and we're gonna make it a group as well. Now friends, space bar, click on your lid we want to take this little corner right here and we want to snap it to that spot so M for move and set it on top BAM you have just made an awesome box ready for this though grab it all M for move we want to take a copy right beside it so we just hit control we're gonna to go to this one spacebar and we're gonna double click on this top piece so we're editing it let's do P for push pull and I want you to raise it up 25 and press enter. I want you to find the two point arc, which is the letter A. And I want you to click on the first corner, the second corner. If it sets down like that, just do control Z to cancel. So I'm doing first corner, second corner, and I wanna stretch it up like this. And friends, we can now use push pull and we have turned our simple box into a treasure chest. Space bar, click outside to make it final. And that, my friends, is pretty darn slick. Let's go over to our colors. Pick the colors you want for your box. I'm going to do that and that for the lid. I'm going to go over to Material Browse. And let's look in the wood patterns and see if we can find something that looks pretty decent. Here is wood. 
and I'm gonna see what happens if I put this on because my project is so small these aren't gonna show up great but it's still a pretty fun project once again friends make sure when you're done you hit save friends I hope you had a ton of fun with this simple lesson these skills are gonna help you as you become a better designer with SketchUp friends if you did enjoy the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about SketchUp made simple of course if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day